Gesture Avatar is an interaction technique for operating mobile interfaces using gestures. It supports casual interaction with small widgets and under various on-the-go scenarios. In this video, we will show four example applications of Gesture Avatar. We will also show our experimental design for validating the technique. The first example is a media player with small UI controls. To pause the video, the user can draw two vertical lines on the screen as gesture. Gesture avatar then matches the gesture against all the UI controls on the screen. The best matched control is then highlighted. In this case, it is the pause button. A gesture thumbnail is also displayed next to the button. The user can tap on the thumbnail to activate the associated button. We call this proxy thumbnail an avatar. To drag the slider, the user can draw a rectangle, the shape of the slider knob, as gesture. The slider knob is then associated with an avatar. The user can drag the avatar to move the slider knob. To play a pause the video, the user can draw a triangle as gesture. Similarly, to go to the next video, the user can simply draw a right arrow as gesture. The second example is a mobile web browser showing New York Times website. Without zooming in, all the text links are tiny. To go to a text link, the user can write its first character as gesture near the desired text link. The user can then tap on the avatar to activate the link. It is possible that the best match object is not a desired object due to the inherent ambiguity. For example, the link sports and the link signs are next to each other and both start with letter S. Upon such a mismatch, the user can draw a stroke outside the avatar. Gesture avatar will then find the next best match in the stroke direction. The user also can tap outside the avatar to cancel the match. The third example is moving the carrot in the text box. Using gesture avatar, user can write the character before or after the desired character position. When the character is matched, the user can tap on the right half of the avatar to move the carrot after the associated character or left half to move the character before it. The fourth example is acquiring locations in Google Maps. Using gesture avatar, the user can simply write the letters of the location pins to select them. Finally, to validate Gesture Avatar, we designed a user study to compare our technique with Patrick Bodish's shift. Each participant completes a series of tasks using both techniques under sitting or walking conditions. In each task, the objects are represented as letterboxes. In the starting screen of a task, the participants were shown 24 small letterboxes. The target box, which was always near the center, was highlighted in red. A magnified version of the target was shown below the target. Participants need to tap the magnified target to start a task. Participants were asked to acquire a target as fast as they can. The results show that gesture avatar is faster on small targets and has fewer errors than shift. The mobile situations, such as walking, will decrease the time performance and increase the error rate of shift, but surprisingly have little influence on gesture avatar. Our paper contains the detailed results.